Hi, this is your math coach, Howie Tutman, presenting What Math Should My First Grader Know? I've recorded videos in the four domains or groupings of standards in math for first grade. This video is the second of six videos in the number and operations grouping. The video is about understanding the two digits of a two digit number. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at hrtutman at gmail.com. The complete text of the standard that this video is based upon follows at the end of the video. The standard that I'm going to talk to you about today is one of the two first grade standards about understanding place value. So let's take a look. This is the number 12 and this is the number 21. Both have the same two digits, the one and the two. And if I was to look at this number 12, and I was to look at the digit one, but it wasn't within the number 12, one could mean one, 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 10, 100. And the same thing with the digit two, it could mean two ones, two tens, two hundreds. And we really don't know and understand the value of these digits until they're actually placed within a number. And then we have our place value system. Not dealing with decimals now, just dealing with whole numbers. The place furthest to the right is our ones place. And then when we go over one place to the left, that's our tens place. So this digit two means that there are two ones. And this digit one means that there are one ten. And it's important for our first graders to understand the difference when digits are placed in the ones place or whether they're placed in the tens place. So this is another way of representing the number 12. We have the ones blocks and we have two of them. So this represents the number two. And then we have one 10 block. And this represents the number 10. Now, if I take this one single block and I place it anywhere, that we know that its value is one. And if I take this one 10 block or this long and I place it anywhere, we know that its value is 10. But now I'm going to place this within our place value system where this is tens and this is ones. And now if I was to take this one 10 block and I was to move it to our ones place, it no longer represents one 10, but it represents 10 ones. And this is what it's important. And we want to make sure that the first graders understand that one 10 is worth 10 ones. So to recap, one 10 is worth 10 ones. And once again, if I break up this one 10, we can see here that I now have 10 ones. And the number 12, I started with one 10 and two ones. And if I look at it as all ones, we have 10 plus two or 12 ones. So once again, this is a bundle of 10 ones. And another way of looking at this bundle of 10 ones would be one 10. Another part of this standard is making sure that the first graders really understand how the digits 11 through 19 are composed. So for the digits 11 through 19, all of these digits are composed of one 10 and then a certain number of ones. So for instance, this would be the number 11, one 10 and one one. The number 12, one 10 and two ones. The number 13 is composed of one 10 and three ones. And the number 
13, 14, 15, all the way through 19. Once again, sometimes it's difficult for our first graders to say and understand because, for instance, in this number, the number 13, they're seeing when they write this, the digit one first and then the digit three. But when we're saying it, we're saying it as 13. So that sometimes becomes a little difficult for the students. And 13, when you think of it, it's the teen number, meaning 10, and the thir, meaning three, and it's kind of backwards. It's kind of like we're saying three plus 10, or 14, four plus teen, or four plus 10. Like this is 14, four ones, and one 10, but we say it as 14. In the final section of this standard, we want our first graders to understand groups of 10. So for instance, here, there is five groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? And we would write this as five, zero. Zero in the ones place because we don't have any ones and the digit five in the tens place because we have five groups of 10. And if we were to get rid of one of the groups of 10, we now have four groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, and we would write this as the digits four and zero to represent 40. Technically, that's 40 ones, but what we're showing is four groups of 10. If we were to add some, tens. Now we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, six groups of 10. And we would count this as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we would write the digit as six tens and zero ones. In closing, about talking about this standard, about really trying to understand the two digits of a two-digit number, here's kind of like a silly example of what we don't do and we don't have to do. And this would be the number 77. And this would be representing the digit seven in the tens place as being 10 times as large as the digit seven in the ones place. Yes, technically this seven is worth 10 times as much as this seven because this is actually seven tens and this is seven ones. And when we represent this here, as far as with our 10 sticks and our ones, this does show seven tens and it shows seven ones. But as far as when we actually write this using our place value system, we can just write all the digits the same size because we know that this column all the way to the right represents the number of ones that we have. And this digit one place over to the left represents the number of tens that we have. So we have 10 in the tens, we have seven tens, and in the ones we have seven ones, and this number is the number 77. If you're interested, here's the complete standard that this video, understanding the two digits of a two-digit number, is based upon. Understand that the two digits of a two-digit number represent amounts of tens and ones. Understand the following as special cases. A, 10 can be thought of as a bundle of 
10 ones called a 10. B, the numbers from 11 to 19 are composed of a 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 ones. C, the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 refer to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 tens and zero ones.